just tearing into a creeper. Yeah, when it's folded up, it's just gonna look like a creeper, but then when it's open, it's gonna look like an exploding creeper with TNT on the inside. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some- Paper and something to call it. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's fold our paper first. So we'll put our markers off to the side. We're gonna take the top edge of our paper, line it up with the bottom edge, and when it's all lined up, we'll crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Nice job. Then we're gonna take the top flap and line it up with the top edge and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Next, let's flip over our paper and we're gonna repeat that step. We're gonna take the top flap, line it up with the top edge and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. This is just a guide fold so let's unfold it and flatten it out and then flip our paper back over. When we're all finished, our paper should open up like this. Because we're drawing with markers, I have scratch paper we'll put underneath our drawing paper just to protect our table. And if you want to do the same, it doesn't have to be red, it's just red because it matches our table. Now we're ready to draw our creeper and we're gonna draw the head above the fold and we'll draw the body below. So let's start by drawing a square. Oh, let's start by drawing the bottom of our creeper head. I'm gonna draw it right on the fold, above the fold actually. I'm gonna draw it about this big, right in the center. And we're turning this into a square. So we wanna to try to use our eyes to measure the creeper head. We don't want it to be too wide. Then let's draw the side of the head coming up on the left and also coming up on the right. I'm gonna make it a little taller. And then we can connect those two lines together for the top of our creeper head. Now let's draw our creeper's face. We're gonna draw a short line right in the middle, about that long. Then we're gonna draw a pixel down and over on each side, down, over, and then we're gonna draw the side of the mouth coming down further on each side. And then we're gonna draw the bottom of the mouth coming over, up, over, down, and connect. And if I went too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Let's color in the mouth. Next, let's draw the eyes. We're gonna draw square over here on the left. I'm gonna draw the letter L. This line is equal to this line, or the same length. Then we're gonna draw an upside down L to complete our square. And let's repeat that same shape on the right side for the other eye. Draw an upside down L to complete the square. And then let's add a smaller square in the top left of each eye. This is for the highlight. Make the eyes look shiny. Then we're gonna color in the big square but leave the little square white. We drew the head, now let's draw the body. And we're gonna draw two lines coming down from the head. I'm gonna draw them right here and right here. Yes. Then we're gonna draw the legs or the feet. We're gonna draw two more lines that come across this way for each leg, kind of looks like an upside down T. Then we're gonna draw the inside of the leg coming down further on each side. And then we can draw the outside of the leg coming out, I'm drawing a little more diagonal, and then we'll connect into the other side. Then let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw a diagonal line coming down and then connect in. And then let's draw the bottom of the body, we'll draw a line in between. We did it! Now let's open up our paper and we can flatten out the fold so it's easier to draw on. We should have the creeper head up here and the body way down here. Let's start by drawing the little exploding parts of our creeper. From the chin, let's draw a diagonal line coming down and a diagonal line coming down over here. And then let's connect these two lines with a zigzag and I'm gonna draw it kind of messy. You don't have to draw it exactly like me, but I'm drawing some of the explosions big and some of them small. And then down here, I'm gonna extend the creeper body up a little higher on each side. 
And then we're going to draw a diagonal line coming out to the left and out to the right. Then let's do the same zigzag line down here. I'm going to draw big ones and small little zigzags and mix it up and then connect to the other side. That's our creeper exploding. <laughs> now we need to draw the TNT and let's draw it diagonal. We're going to draw a big square. I'm going to draw the letter L like this. It kind of looks like a letter V blow and over the fold. Then we're going to draw the other side of the TNT. We'll draw an upside down L to connect. Then let's draw two lines going across our TNT. And in the middle of these two lines, we're going to start by drawing the letter N right in the middle. So it's centered. And then we're going to draw a T on the left and a T on the right. Yeah. Let's also draw an explosion around our TNT. We're going to draw a zigzag line, kind of like what we did down here on our creeper. But this one is going around the TNT. And you can also go behind the creeper down here if you want to overlap, make it look more 3D. Well, I'm going to overlap on the top too, like this. And we'll go behind it until we get all the way around. Awesome. Awesome. We did it. We finished drawing our exploding creeper. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes. My favorite part. We're going to fast forward. So remember at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our creepers and they turned out super cool. I especially love yours. Thank you. We got to show our art friends the inside. Are you ready? Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Come Boom! <laughs> I love the extra stuff that we added to the inside, especially these little uh, creeper chunks or yeah. confetti. <laughs> and then we also added an extra explosion around the TNT so that we could use another color. It turned out really cool, Austin. Thank you. You guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. We used our Art for Kids hub markers to color with. If you have the same set, we used 59, that's a lighter green. And then we used a darker green, 46, to add the texture. And then for the explosion, what colors did we use? 23 orange and 35 yellow. Yeah, and then we also used 15 red and also a darker red, number two. But you don't have to use the same markers. If you have a different set, you can use colors that are similar. You could also color your drawing differently. Yeah. You could even use crayons or colored pencils also. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your creeper. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add even more things to the inside. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is one of my least favorite things in Minecraft, when a creeper explodes and blows up half of your base. Yeah. But this is probably one of my new favorite lessons. Me too.